yo yo this is dorky diggity dave and welcome to the first ever community boss rush challenge and here is my guide to get you through with minimal to no item use so let's go ahead and take a look now as you can see my team is comprised mostly of four star champions with the exception of archangel which admittedly was a mistake that was supposed to be a four star rank five here we go First up, we have Havoc, Mastermind, Stark Enhanced Spider-Man with True Strike, so evasion, armor, and resistances are out the door. Debilitate, adding extra damage to debuffs, and Enhanced Special 2 with extra damage and unblockable. So, check it out. This is a pretty straightforward fight. Parry, hit, and watch out for that evade. Keep him at his SP1 if you aren't used to dexing his SP2, so just be careful with that. My go-to for this fight is Archangel. He's a massive DPS champ and Neurotoxin keeps ability accuracy low, so keep that in mind. Now you can pretty much use any champ for this fight, but uh, this DPS really works well. Next up, we got Brian Grant, AKA Contest Champion, Super Banana Rocket Raccoon. This node is sporting a sexy flare buff that degenerates you 100% over 60 seconds, but you gain 300% attack as a consolation. Now, Power Shield keeps you from doing any damage unless with a special, but Life Transfer gives you lifesteal on your damage. Now, this fight, you have to act quickly and will likely need to either hit real fast or get a power gain champ that will give you what you need quickly. My pick for this fight, Hyperion! Next up, we have Doos Wolf's Mephisto, and this one is a Doos E. <laughs> you're served up to a juicy tyranny buff, where if you're not a villain, you're not gonna gain any power. Heal block to keep you from gaining any health from his incinerate, and giving Mephisto an extra soul to heal towards the end of the fight. This is mostly a game of keep away. Parry, hit, back away, and when his incinerate starts, you want to make sure you're clearing out. So, if you're backed into a corner, parry, and heavy to create some distance. However, if you have a quake, well then, all things are good in the world. Use the quake and bake method and avoid triggering his incinerate on top of having ability accuracy reduction. So you shut down his healing. My pick for this fight, that's right, it is quake. Quake, yeah. Next up is Yeet OS with a dabtastic Ant-Man on immunity, so no parry, no bleed, poison, incinerate, nothing. You've got to take him stun immune style. Also, he has power shield, so no damage unless you're using a special. Enhanced special too, so more damage and can't be blocked. Topped with a savory debilitate, so if you do get hit with that SP2, you're gonna feel it. Now this requires knowledge of fighting stun immune. If you don't know how to do that, please check the card above for a full tutorial. 
Now, you'll want to take in a power gainer here as the more specials you use, the easier it is to defeat him. Your intercept and bait game needs to be on point for this fight. Now, just because you don't do damage on him doesn't mean you shouldn't hit him. You're going to want to build that power meter so you can create openings through baiting specials. So, having a good knowledge of power rotation is a nice plus, also in my stun immune tutorial. My pick for this fight, surprisingly, Doc Strange. His SP2 does the work and does massive damage. He already has a steady flow of power and will do the work. Second place pick is Hyperion. Next up, we've got Jade Sura with a Venomous battle to the finish. This Venom comes complete with stun immunity, star burst, so you're degening the whole time, and dude can recall up to 20 effects. Sheesh. So, now one of the pluses here is that while you're fighting stun immune style, you can get the benefit of dash vulnerability. He takes double the damage if you intercept him, so get them skills up. He's a tough champ because he's fast, but you're going to want to lead in with intercepts and also take good notice to his last hits on light and medium attack so you can maximize your attack counters. Also, play with that power rotation and keep him using his SP1 so you can find openings. My pick for this fight, Scarlet Witch. Class advantage and an old classic that still whoops tail with the best of them. Wait, he doesn't, he doesn't have a tail. Uh, tongue? All right, last up, Dorky Diggity Dave and his Ice Bro. That's right, I chose Ice Bro. Who is surprised? Is anyone, anyone really surprised? I didn't think so. This fight is actually very straightforward. It's more of an endurance fight than anything. Safeguard keeps him from ever taking more than 1% damage, and Fissure reminds you that every time you mess up, Iceman is coming for that. Uh, anyway. You can parry him, so keep that ice armor broken to avoid surprises and to avoid the mega damage of SP2. Like I said, this is an endurance fight. Get your skills up and your evade and don't die, otherwise you're going to feel the wrath of that cold snap. Now my pick for this fight, Hyperion, but I did mess up, so I also chose Doc Strange. Doc Strange is also pretty solid on this fight. There are others you can use, those that do shock damage as that ticks damage. So Storm, Nebula, Thor, Jane Foster, or d -Gen with Dormammu or Mordo, because Iceman is immune to incinerate, bleed, poison, which are the most common forms of tick damage. And Safeguard, you really want to get around that with tick damage. Also, you have the choice of heal champions, so you can go with champions like Blade, Angela, Wolverine, you can go with Iron Man, Superior Iron Man, uh, as they have their heals on the end, so you want to be able to get some longevity. Also, you want to make sure that you remember that class advantage on a tech champion is really going to bring down that damage and help you survive, especially with that tech version of Iron Man.
So, good luck! And I hope you liked the video, and if you did, go ahead and click subscribe, click like, leave a comment, share it with your friends, share it with your mama, all that stuff helps me out, and remember, stay dorky, and I'll catch y'all on the flip.